Hello gamers! Welcome back to another episode of Hubiant The Loadout Season 2. In today's video, we are not just giving you an exciting game coming out. I will be showing our top 5 massively multiplayer online role-playing games, or MMORPG. Planetside 2 is the best for the top 5. Planetside 2 FPS features large-scale wars between thousands. Planetside 2 lets you pilot air and ground vehicles or run headlong in battles for interplanetary supremacy with your assault weapon. It's a class shooter that focuses on capturing and holding base, but it becomes more exciting when played with other players as organized squads. You can plot your course across a vast battlefield, lead counter-attacks, or make daring raids upon enemy bases. It is an experience that no other shooter can match. Black Desert Online is in the top 4. Black Desert Online is one of the most beautiful MMOs. It has a huge, beautiful world that rivals many others. You should download it just to have a look at its creator. However, what truly sets Black Desert Online apart is its emphasis on civilization building and empire building. You can play it as an MMO or action RPG, but you have the option to explore more Age of Empires. EVE Online ranks third. EVE Online has a reputation for being a cold, callous world full of exploitative players. This MMO is full of betrayal, war and espionage among real players. It is a fascinating experience for everyone involved. It is possible to be surprised at the generosity of people in the shallows. Player-run companies need new players. Strangers are often willing and able to share blueprints and in-game currency with you to help you get going. To help you survive, some players started an in-game university. EVE Online is one of the most challenging games ever created. This space game features real politics and council meetings, but it has been improving year by year for new players. World of Warcraft is in the top 2. World of Warcraft will be the MMO everyone remembers when they hear MMO. World of Warcraft has taken the MMOs before, EverQuest, for instance, and applied a level of Blizzard polish unlike any other. Today it is a beautiful place to explore, almost seamless to play and almost as easy to learn as ever. Shadowlands, World of Warcraft's latest expansion, has also shaken the game up and made it much more fun. It reduced the level cap, made the game easier for beginners, and improved the flow of combat. The lore for new players isn't difficult to grasp, but it is simple to follow. Final Fantasy XIV ranks as the number one MMORPG for me. Final Fantasy XIV's start is not as quick as other MMOs. However, it will get easier over time and you'll find more activities. This is due to the fact that it doesn't place any restrictions. One character can switch between jobs or classes which will lead to more complicated roles as they level up. You can also have secondary jobs like crafting, fishing and cooking. You can take whatever you want and give it another chance. Final Fantasy XIV is a fantasy epic. You'll not be limited to smacking others to right their wrongs, even though you have a free trial. Instead, you may need to help a beast tribe reincarnate its god. Your time will be spent less fighting and more digging into the facts behind their need. Final Fantasy XIV is a different MMO. You may feel limited by your choices. It's this that makes Final Fantasy XIV so popular. Each expansion seems to improve. This is the MMO you should be playing if you want to enjoy a growing MMO. Well, that's it for my top 5 MMORPG. Leave a comment below for your top 5. Watch out for more games, recommendations, esports news, game updates, and many more. Be sure to subscribe to get the latest updates from this channel. I'll see you again in the next episode of The Loadout Season 2.